Thank you so much for all the love I got off my first video. I was so nervous to post it, but the response that I got from you guys has given me confidence to do my next one. So, in this video, we've got to pick a colour for the 140i and I need your help. But before we do that, there's lots we've got to get on in the unit, so let's do that first. One of those things is getting fuel for this. It's severely empty and I've just got a feeling at some point we're going to bring it, we're going to take it outside and we're not going to be able to bring it back in. So let's get some fuel. As much as I don't like BMWs, that is a fun car to drive. Right, let's fill her up. I've just had to pause the video because we've had a shipment of new merch and Matt's going to model it for you now. Here we go. This is a small BMW. BMW on the back, like the stripes. Very nice. Gone for green to match the M4. BMW, BMW, stripes on the back, MA, bang, link in description. <laughs> A lot of you have requested to see the stock room. This is where we keep all of the MA merch. In these boxes are the new BMW stuff. They still need to go away. I've got some space just there for them. So they need to be folded and put away. And yes, I do fold all of these <laughs> by hand. So yeah, and these. So these are where we keep all the t-shirts and the shorts. All the hoodies are here. The folded ones are here. And then all the spare ones are there. And then we've got the cap the cappuccino ones there. Keep all of the key rings on here. These are just some new ones that we've got. Let me get them down. These are all the key rings and the air fresheners that we have. Matt had designed all of these himself. We do have to order these in quite big quantities. That always just means that we've got loads in stock. So favourite ones are the orange. Absolutely love them. So bright. When we get an orange car, that'll be great. Maybe for the 140. You never know. So I've got the great task today of unpacking these six boxes, uh, folding what I can and putting them in order, smallest to largest uh, and then get them on the website by the time this video goes live they will be available so uh, click the link in the description if you want any so one thing that me and Matt have been really looking forward to at the end of this month is DMAX we've been ordering a shitload of stock new stuff, restocks uh, to get ourselves ready for DMAX because the last time we went to one we almost sold out of everything uh, we have ordered a new tent as well I'll show you that so this is a tent that we've ordered, uh, literally paid for it today, so I'm hoping it's going to come in time. Uh, but if you're at D-Max, look out for this tent, this is where we will be. <laughs> Another exciting thing that got delivered was a big chunk of the parts that we need for the RS5. Uh, Matt is actually working on it at the minute. I won't show too much, a little bit actually, I don't know where he is so he can't tell me off. Let me show you what we've got. So we've got the bonnet. We've got the front grill um, and a wing and then all back here is sort of the broken bits that are for the front of the car so all this damage where the front was everything there should hopefully fix it apart from the suspension stuff which we have got from Audi hoping that we've got the right bits for it as you can see Matt's not really taken much off yet but and hopefully <laughs> We won't be finding any more broken parts than we first thought, so fingers crossed for that. So, MMR Performance have sent these out to us. I've not really found a place to put it in one of my videos. So, well, it's going in Hannah's video. Oh my days. Flappy paddle extensions. Don't know whether to go with the light one or the dark one. That's the dark one, that's the light one. No, I'm having the light one. I'd say we use these on the 140, but the 140's actually already got some. I found them in the car when I got them. So, well, I think they're the same one. Let's show you how to do it. Step one, disconnect the battery. We don't want airbags going off in our face. Although that would be funny for a video, but not quite funny on my behalf. Step two, inside the car. Some little poke holes here, push them in. Holy God, I'll pop that side of the airbag out, that side of the airbag out. Mini screwdriver, airbag out, easy as that. Don't actually think we need to take the steering wheel off for it, so. Yeah, look at that. Out comes one shifter, and on the other side, this shifter should come out now. Please. Okay. Now I've got a proper tool. 
pin pushes out right so that goes in from the top down remember that take this out very careful there's a little spring in here if we lose it it's game over there we go that's what the inside looks like very basic and here's the new one bigger aluminium looks better feels better is better put that in there same way it came out see it you feel it there look at that look at that direct oem replacement this is not an advert it's just me doing mods I've got to line up my hole now line up the hole slot it back in this is the most exciting mod did it go that way or did it go that way definitely went that way push it in we're in bang Whoa. okay slide it back through that little hole where it will meet its old friend female connector and we are going to push this all back into place get that in there voila so much better here we go airbag this one a lot so you could push it straight in but sometimes it doesn't work what i'm doing see these metal things here these push in to these holes here and the only thing that holds the airbag in that little clip there so you just push it in and that'll make you be able to push that side into place and then we just have to push that side into place and but we'll grave there. Let's connect the battery back up and see if it works. Make sure it works. Horn works. No lights on the dash. And it's working. Two, one, two, one, two. That is so much better. Shout out to MMR Performance. Links in the description for these. Wrap colour for the 140i. I already know in my head what I want, I think. Got my mind I've set. I've got two choices. Okay, so this is 3M, and that is Hexis. I've used Hexis on a lot of cars, never used 3M, no reason why, but just never found a color in 3M. Although, I may have found one now. That looks awful. Look at this. That looks like ketchup. What, orange? That is red. It's orange. Gloss Fire Air Orange. That looks like ketchup. Look at that. Imagine that on that. I think that would look good. It's got to be bright because it's a hatchback. Like if you want it bright. That's chrome. Yep. Yeah. So? Yeah, yeah, I've got to wrap it. Super chrome blue satin. That's not my problem. Yeah, there's a reason why I haven't done a car chrome because the chrome wrap <laughs> is really thick. It takes a lot longer. I'm on my own. I struggle and I you have to do about 100 pieces. I can help you. Choice two. Okay, wait. I'm going first. What's that? That bright, no, that's like GT86, that's got, the, well, that's got to be. I like a yellow. Fan mine. This one. Oh. Gloss, fiery, orange. Same one as I just picked a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, that copper's quite nice. There's a copper colour. Gloss, liquid copper. <laughs> orange. That's like the colour M3's come in and M4's come in. Stop. Gloss, fiery, orange. Imagine it, all that colour. That would look absolutely. Well that would look havoc. That is definitely the one. You're going to get loads of hate because you chose crap colours. <laughs> no. What? When am I going to wrap it? Probably next week. It's going to take me a week to do it. It's going to be even harder because this bit is white and that bit is grey. So like when you wrap white, you've got to make sure you cover every little bit. You can't get away with anything. When you wrap on a black car, you can get away with little tiny bits. So it's going to take a lot longer. Look at all these little edges and creases and everything in here. That's going to be a nightmare. But the more wrap, the better we get it. Put in the comments, what wrap should we go for? Orange. Yellow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end it there. Matt and I are gonna work on the RS5 as much as we can. You? Yeah. I'm gonna hand him the tools. If you wanna see what's happening with that, with the fixing of it, obviously Matt's gonna film it. Um, next video. In the next video, so. But like and subscribe to my video, at least. Thank you for watching. Um, in the next video, I think maybe a Q&A, me and you? Yeah, okay, get people to write comments. Yeah, write a comment of what you want to ask me and Matt, and then maybe in the video after that, a walk round What are you doing cars? to have on the videos year after year? <laughs> next year, I'm gonna film a video on this. Such a twat. Okay, so you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up a fight mm -hmm. The way I do, the way I do will knock you